So let me give you another another illustration of the, how problematic this issue mm. of not understanding our journey mm. is. I've often said to friends, I might even have said to you at some point, mm. we as black people, black older people, in other words, gener taking generational responsibility, are colonizing the young African mind more than any white person ever did. Mm. Yeah? I don't know whether I've ever told you this. No, no, no. Yeah. So let me explain it. The lived reality of young Africans today is that when they want to uh, be part of something that works, that delivers self-respect to them, whether it's a school or a hospital or an economy, it's not black run. Mm. So we are indoctrinating our young people to associate bad performance and failure with being black. Mm. And excellence and what is acceptable in terms of performance, whether it's sport, organizational, whatever, with not being black. So I have yet to come across a human being who does not like to associate with success. I th that's why when a national team does well, everybody in the team claims ownership. Mm, mm. Because we, we, are in, we associate with success. If we understood this, if we understood how important this is, we would make sure that everything we do is done through the lens of merit and excellence. Because it would turn around the association. Yeah? Young people would begin to be proud because they associate with a strive, mm. Mm. with a Shingai Mutasa or whatever. Mm. They would begin to identify people who represent success and they begin to accept themselves as being okay mm. because of this identity and mm. give them themselves mm. credibility. Mm. What we've constructed is that the people we put in charge of our institutions, of our countries, of our so-called state-owned enterprises mm. or parastatals, you've only demonstrated that what we touch, we destroy. Our roads, look at them. Mm. Young people now don't know another reality. They think this is normal. Mm. 